Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I am just excited to finally be back home. Um, I had an amazing time out with my girlfriend. We went to go see a Janet Jackson concert. Maybe I'll post some videos or pictures up later on down the line. Um, but it was overall just an amazing time. Really good relaxation. But it is what it is. I am back. I am here. And now I got to get to the content, correct? So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this next little thing. Um, we're going to be talking about Zenla Zone Zero. So let's go and see what I personally think about the game. Okay, so I, my entire time I was on vacation, um, I was playing Zenith Zone Zero. When the game did come out, um, I was playing on mobile the entire time. And I have to admit, this is not what I expected. And honestly, that's great. Um, because the way that this game plays and operates, it, it plays in a way that I'm so comfortable with. Um, if you're not sure what Zenozone Zero is, and we're going to take a look through my account and just seeing how much I've progressed and the things that I've done. Like, I might have been doing this on a script. This is just going to be straight up just raw review of how, what I feel about the game. Um, above all, I enjoyed the game. I think the game has amazing cutscenes. I think the design of the characters are fantastic. Uh, just looking at the different agents, orders. this is the characters that I have on my list. And just looking at the different characters. One, two, yes. All it's so good. For. Um, the character designs are Time so good. I love here. that that Neo Tokyo like that Neo Tokyo type style. Um, it kind of reminds me a lot of um, like animes that I used to watch growing up, uh, like Air Gear was one of my favorites. I loved Air Gear growing up, um, but I love this that that punk style. Um, Nothing the, to fear. The designs, the, the costumes, the characters. This game has so much to offer, and it's such an amazing. It's just, our turn, bro. It's aesthetically pleasing. So that's the first thing we're gonna talk about is just the environment. How is the environments of the game? Overall, I think the game looks great. Um, like I said, character design, fantastic. Um, it's a little bit for everybody here. Um, there's a little bit of different types of styles and characters for everyone here. Um, I think it has it all. I love this 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 vibe, this um, Neo Tokyo. Like it really like it's really like playing an actual anime. Um, I love it. I do love it. Um, the next thing, which I know, let's just knock this out the way. How is the gotcha mechanics in the game? Um, the gotcha mechanics aren't bad. Um, they're pretty standard. This is a Hoyoverse game, so it's very standard. Touch my tail. Um, and now. The way that they work. So, you know, 50-50s. They have the standard banners. Um, they have all the information right here, which is really nice. So it tells you how close you are to a guarantee, which, you know, I... I got super lucky. I pulled on Ellen Joe just to, just to do a 10 pull, and I got her literally in two 10 pulls. Like, no cap. Like, just, just a look. Like, 5, 10, 15, 20. I pulled her in 20 pulls. It was crazy. Um, but you know, it's, it's a, above all, it's a Hoyaverse game. So, you know, they keep, they, they keep the same mechanics. It works for them. Um, it's not bad. They do have weapon banners. The weapon banners I think are, are 75, 25, if I remember correctly. Um, which, you know, you can get the weapons if you want. I'm not pulling on them. Um, and then they have the bang boos, which is kind of like another character. And the bang boos is probably my favorite thing. Um, I love the way these little things work. Um, they're kind of like additional characters on your team that provides buffs and bonuses. There's a lot of different ones. So like right now I'm trying to get the butler one here. 
and what the butler does is it creates you know, a heartfelt afternoon snack the snack will generate energy for uh, receiving agents and then they have this skill right here where um, if there's two Victoria housekeeping company characters in your squad active skill generates additional 20% energy and then you have this one right here so you know like the bang boos are really cool they're they fight alongside you while you're fighting in a combat um, it's really nice uh, this game is even though it was advertised as a action um an action fighting like a active action game it's not so take that out of your head it's not it's not going to be that way it's it's you're, you're just not going to get that same feel you're not going to get that weathering waves feel in this game um but that's really it like that's really the only thing the combat is not bad it's very simplistic um, I believe Tectone said it when like the best like the game is just mind numbingly easy and it requires little to no thinking in the combat but it still provides it still has an audience that's why I want to take us that's why I really want people to understand this game still has an audience um, the type of audience that this is game is is, is for is for people who want an action game that's just spam a button, combat move, um, but still have a lot of little micro uh, interactions in the game. And that's what they do here. So, you know, you get this, you go in here with like the internet, and internet kind of gives you your quest that you have, the things that you can do in the game with the quest. There's, you know, different times of days. Um, you can go right here to your notifications. And this right here is just kind of just filler. You can just kind of look through this and read through it if you want. But you know, mostly if I go down to all, I just want to look at the help requests because I want to get my commissions so I can know and go do my commissions. And then you got your internet level. As you level up your internet stuff, you uh, unlock more things and then you can unlock and upgrades um, to do the, um, the rank up missions, which allows you to have your characters to get more levels and harder missions very typical inside of these type of gotcha games um i have seen a lot of people talk about that they hate the game they think the game is bad but i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep it a straight buck this game is not bad um the stories are fantastic cutscenes, chef kiss um I enjoy the story a lot. I enjoy the the interactions. I enjoy this vibe and this feeling of the game because I think that it's something that's different that's on the market. And I think that that's what we need in gotcha games. We need a little something different from everything. You know, we don't need another Genshin Impact. We don't need another Honkai Star Rail. We don't need another Wuthering Waves. We need we need the gotcha space to branch out to different things because there are different types of games that are going to attract different types of people and this is definitely a different kind of game that's going to attract different kinds of people um i really do think that you guys should go ahead and give it a try uh i've had nothing but fun doing and playing this game since i've been you know since it's, it's released um and i played it all on mobile i haven't even got a chance to play this game on my computer yet this is the first time i even loaded up the game yet and above all i just feel that this game should not be looked at as a you know a clone of another game it should be looked at as as its own entity and it's not a bad game it's a very fun game I'm looking forward to seeing how it progresses. I'm looking forward to see what, you know, what new things that they add to it. I'm looking for the the stories. I'm looking for that that the music, the soundtrack is fantastic. Um, I'm big on sound. The soundtrack is fantastic. Um, I, I definitely will be playing more of this. Um, this is not something that is a main game. Um, to me, this is a side game. This is something where you know after running across the maps and weathering waves and after doing you know my stuff in honkai star rail um this is something that i can just kind of wind down 
and just play and just relax and just vibe. Um, another game this reminds me of is like Jet Set Radio with the, the way that the, the aesthetics are. Um, if you're a fan of that kind of stuff, this is this is this is it for you. If you want to get into a gotcha game that doesn't require a lot of effort, um, doesn't require a lot of energy, um, doesn't require a lot of just overall, you know, time and effort, this is the game. I really don't play that much. I didn't like while I was on my vacation. I only put in about maybe two hours maybe three hours a day while i was playing it and i've gotten relatively far as you can see 28 um i did the quest i was um i did do the battle pass because you know anybody knows if, if i like the game a lot i'm going to do the battle pass um i'm a big believer in battle passes so i did do the battle pass um battle pass is not bad and there's a lot of stuff to do in this game and there's a lot of things to figure out and they kind of give you a they just give you a lot of stuff to interact with in the game um just little things like right here this is the this is the video store and when you're inside the video store you can sit there and you can make money you know it's, it's a little side mission mini game but to me it's fun because it's just so simple and you can unlock new videos by doing other little quests and it's like i said this game is just it's something to relax to it's something to it's something that doesn't require a lot of a lot of effort but it's still fun like that's that that's the biggest thing I, that's the biggest takeaway i want you guys to have from this it's still fun like it, it, it don't it doesn't take away nothing you know this doesn't take away anything it's still a fun game and it's just a nice relaxing game that you can play um so yeah that's my that's that's kind of like my real that's kind of my my, my real review um if you're interested in Zenazone zero I, I really want you guys to put likes in the comments. Um, I want you to put likes on the video. I want you to, to go ahead and also put comments. If you have questions about Zenazone Zero, please let me know. Um, if you would like to see me cover more about this game, let me know. I want to see what your guys' opinion is about Zenazone. If you've played it already, let me know. But yeah, so just let me know what you guys feel. Please like, comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. Um, I want to give a shout out to everybody who's been just showing so much support and love. I appreciate you. I will be coming out with new videos. There's one video project that I'm really excited about that I finally get to work on now that I'm back home and I can't wait. And yeah, so you guys take care of yourselves. You have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay.